All right. In the meantime, while waiting for Corwin, wow, we did it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, who would have thought, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I surely didn't when we started. No, knowing how exhausted I was at the end of the first day, I wouldn't have imagined to survive a second day of more of the same nonsense. Um, yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been a lot of work, um, especially by you and Sasha. But um, you know, it's it's incredible. I'm I'm very happy that um, you know we managed to pull through. Um, you know, for two days straight, not one day. <laughs> yeah. Well, a, we, we did try, to, well, we actually did manage to accept all the talk proposals. So if you're thinking, oh, I could, I could give an even better talk than the ones I heard today or yesterday, please send us a talk proposal for next year. We might be able to feel it's all in, but you might have to declare an EMATS week. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's funny. Like, um, I remember a little bit last year, but also this year, we kind of were trying to set up, um, I guess, sort of a procedure for accepting and rejecting talks. But then, you know, we have got the actual submissions and, oh, my God, so much awesome stuff. Um, I mean, I definitely would have been in no, right? Hmm? How can you say not anything? It's email. So you just throw it all in, including the kitchen sink, and then we'll sort it all out later. So if you yeah, yeah. went through all this, uh, the entire conference and you missed some interesting talks because A, we started early because you're we very excited and didn't need the technical, t you know, buffer time, uh, or B, you, you really had to step away at some point. So you missed a talk you really wanted to. Recordings will eventually be available. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I know so many people asked in the chat, um, you know, is did I already miss this talk or are the pre-recordings up? Um, yeah, so they're not up yet, but, um, you know, especially with the pre-recordings, are, those are basically um, ready to be uploaded. So, you know, right after we finish this talk, um, I'm going to um, start uploading them um, because, you know, those are just ready. We have them. And then for the ones that were only live also, as well as the live Q&A sessions, um, we will try to process them um and get those up as well um yes after you've had some sleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah after after some rest <laughs> um yeah and i'm i'm just Dawn is with us oh there you go hey corbin um yeah i don't think we have your sound yet so double check that but um hi how about um, now yes we, we do, do. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing the chat log go by in EmacsConf and everyone is being so nice. Um, it's just making me smile. Okay, people want a question section, so I'm going to add a questions thing and people can throw in their questions somewhere. Just telling you, if you want three Emacs conference per year, the answer is no. Judging by the amount of stress that we've accrued all together yeah. today, we are not ready to do this three times every year. The answer is, you're welcome to organize it and we will happily share our notes. Um, and I will stick a mention of it in my Emacs news. So please feel free to go ahead and put things together yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, for me, I think once a year is quite enough, but um, if, uh, if yeah. go ahead. Oh, however, if uh, if today leaves you wanting more, there are Emacs meetups, and I think there are a couple of a uh, couple of them coming up in December. So if you check back in my talk for Emacs news highlights, I've linked to a couple that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Nice, yeah, and I think Zakari mentioned that um, he's either participates in or he runs or is one of the people that runs the Emacs NYC meetup. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out and, you know, all the other ones that may be out there. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so. So I'll jump in on that, on that point, too. Cool. I, I have a lot of energy for, um, for helping people get together. Um, Adam uh, uh, from Melpa suggested... Uh, I should do some Twitch stuff. I'll probably try that. I have put a couple things out there and even a few people came by. So I, I think I, I would agree. The interest is there and 
I definitely would love to spend that time talking to people that want to organize as well as people that are interested in just learning to use Emacs as an editor. I think it's, um, I think it's a fantastic journey speaking for myself as somebody that, um, I don't always have the right keystrokes right at hand sometimes. Yeah. My mentor in, in, in computer programming is David Dyer Bennett. And, um, I started uh, apprenticing with him as when he was a freelancer, um, many decades ago now and you know he, he has a mantra that is uh you know i can do that in about five minutes if it's the right five minutes and and that's kind of the story of my life um and emacs is just a tool to get the right five minutes more often no matter you know how can how uh, cooperative the fingers are or or whether the ideas are free flowing you know and, and getting that right environment is a lot of things for a lot of different people, a lot of things to us on a different day. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of energy around, you know, hey, let's talk more. Absolutely. Um, yes. So, you know, I think we are, uh, everyone's pretty energetic. Oh, before I forget, I know I will forget. Um, to speakers, uh, those of you who are still watching right now, um, I would very much appreciate it if you could send us, you know, any of the materials, you know, for example, the slides or any links and resources to us so we could add them um, to to the um, Emacs Conf Wiki. Um, uh, or you can add them directly yourself. Uh, if you go to emacsconf.org slash edit, there's instructions for basically anyone to edit the wiki if they like to. Um, yes, so now uh, back to getting uh, getting back to Corwin's point um, and also what Sasha mentioned. So, um, you know, maybe one Emacs conf might be enough um, for us for one year or for me, but um, in terms of Emacs related events. Um, so this, this conference was uh, is like you know mainly about Emacs um, but it's also in my opinion a showcase of um, just how much you can do with free software Emacs itself is free software but um, also all the tools that we used um, these two days for like uh, streaming for you know playing back the videos um, yeah it's all free software and anyone can use and improve them so um, one thing that I wanted to put out there before I forget is that um, so we have these couple of servers set up for streaming for EmacsConf and I would be very much happy to um, help any other group uh, basically um, you know look into using our infrastructure for um, doing their own uh, live event using only free, uh, free software so if you are interested in that please uh, feel free to ping me either in the EmacsConf channel on Freenode um, where my nick is Bandali or just email me at Bandali at GNU.org. Um, I would be happy to help you with that. Um, yeah, and I'll defer to others. Well, jump in, jump in there, George. I mean, <laughs> you've, been so quiet. You've, been, you've been quiet for too long. Now I, I have this, I have to pick on people when there's more than three people in a group. You know, somehow that's the point at which I'm afraid somebody gets shy. And when it's not me, I, I you know, um, so, uh, you know, I, I uh, yeah, I can't thank you enough for the, for all you've done. I mean, I have a whole list of thank yous here that I could just start reading. Uh, but, but they, you know, they start with you and that was the abbreviated list I gave at the beginning of the first talk, right? I just appreciate the sense of encouragement and openness that you bring to it. I think, you know, we share, uh, it, taking inspiration from a lot of people in the community and want to give that back and that's a great thing to have in common when, around any any volunteer effort thank you it's uh it's a pleasure um to be part of this awesome community around emacs um this piece of free software that has been around for more than 40 years um as impressive as that is i think more impressive is a community around it and all the people people around it um yeah, definitely.
Sorry, I'm just smiling because I, I've managed to catch a glimpse of the first question that we have. And I, I'm trying to suit myself, literally, to know how to answer this question. And I'm not exactly sure how to do this to the best of my ability. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think this, at this point, we would like to remind all of our viewers of the uh, conduct guidelines. <laughs> Try not to objectify our speakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a generally good point to remember. Um, even in the closing remarks, the... that mean that I do that because that's that's a thing I do, and I just want I I want to go on record saying I am ready to take it on any live stream any day of the week. Please call me on that. It's always use, it's always a new experience for somebody. I've definitely been across lines that embarrassed me before, and I want to know about that. Thank you in advance. Okay, so uh, do, do we want to do like some of the official closing of people, so closing up stuff, just in case people want to know what the next steps are, and then we can do all the fun questions and hanging out thing. Uh, okay, uh, sure. right. So yeah, I guess um, so mentioned. Up. Okay, following up, um, Emacs meetups, we mentioned those. Uh, if you want to keep connecting with people, you can do that throughout the year. We'll figure out some kind of like list on Emacs Wiki or whatever that will list the different meetups, or you can just search for Emacs meetup in your area. Uh, but of course, since many of them have online meetups now, um, Emacs News will mention those whenever people remember to tell me in advance. Um, okay, so Emacs meetups, that's a thing. Collaborative pad, the, the Etherpad is doing great. There is a meta discussion, so if you want to add things that work well or make notes of things that could work even better next year, then Write it while it's fresh. We'll make a copy and we'll post it to the wiki somewhere like we did last year. We can also copy and paste the links from the individual sections into talk pages so you can follow the links from there. Uh, and if you spoke at a conference and you would like to make it easier for people to follow up with you, please tell, let us know your follow-up information and we can add it to that page also. Or it's a wiki, you can add it yourself. If you have questions when the videos finally come out, when you watch them after the videos have come out, then you can look at the page for follow-up information. And uh, subscribe to the mailing list, low traffic. You can get updates like when we release the photos, uh, release the videos, and, uh, and they're ready for you to check out. So that's what I got for next steps. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Sasha. Um, do one of you guys want to do the, um, the thanks, or should I do them? No, Re up to you. Yep. So yeah. go ahead. I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing you are. So you go ahead. <laughs> okay. No, you go ahead. I was, I was go ahead. Yeah. Thinking, think, thinking that that was an awesome thing for for Amon to do if you would be willing for us. Yeah, you're the lead organizer. You get stuck with all the fun jobs. <laughs> all the difficult stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't have to, upwards. You know, to read my crap if you don't want to, but... Um, <laughs> oh, no, that's... We, we, I, that, so. <laughs> I definitely want to read that, Corbin. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up. But, um, yeah, before we get into that, um, I want to read up what we have here. So... Uh, thank you very much to the Free Software Foundation, especially the tech team for lending us, allowing us to use this very big blue button instance that we've used for live calls and um, live Q&A with so many of the speakers this year. Um, thank you so much. Uh, shout out to the tech team, um, especially Ruben, who does a lot, especially with big blue button um, and like streaming in general. Um, but also the other members of the tech team like Ian, Andrew, and Michael. Thank you all. Um, next up, volunteers, Bavin, David Bremner, uh, Dave O'Toole for taking um, on basically writing descriptive text in our EmacsConf-accessible channel, um, along with uh, Joe Corneli and um, CBAS or CBAS. Um, basically for transcribing talks um, in a way live um yes thank you to corwin of course uh thank you to carl Voigt. uh thank you to sasha and leo very much um for all your hard work um this event literally wouldn't have been possible without all of your uh, guys' helps um so thank you 
And as I told you in the chat, you know, you would have been really happy to one man army the entire thing if we hadn't been there. So <laughs> I I don't know. I may have been able to, but I definitely wouldn't have been happy to. I'm much more happier this way. So um, I guess it's the moment where we ask you uh, your energy level. Is it at 50 percent? Is it at 40 percent? Can you give us uh, an estimate? roughly? <laughs> um, yeah, which is what uh, Corwin had mentioned. Um, I think I'm at a good like fifty or sixty percent. Um oh, which is splendid. Yeah, definitely more than I can say last for last year. <laughs> um but yes, thank you. Um thank you to um all of the our awesome audience members, um everyone who participated in, in any way um in the conference. Um also of course a big thank you to all the awesome speakers for submitting all of these amazing talks um, on a very wide range of topics from a wide uh, range of backgrounds. It was just awesome. Thank you. Um, and now, Corbin, do you want to read over your text or should I do it? It's entirely up to you. I, I mean, I, I'm, I, I, uh, I would have to find it again, but I will. I just uh, have to bring the right Emacs to the front here, my story of today. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go for it. Um, I've already talked enough, so... <laughs> I kind of like the idea of putting words in your mouth, honestly. If you feel good saying them, go, go, go for it, and that'll be good for me. Or if we want to segue into a random Emacs conversation, I'm up for that too, but I'm conscious of other people with uh, um, young friends wandering about the house and beginning to thump on things. I got it. I, I right. copied in what, whatever you pasted me before. Right. Um, Is that what? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, I saw the question in there about Windows. That's definitely a subject I'm happy to talk about. I think others on the call have gotten uh, gotten some of that in in as parts of other conversations. Um, in brief summary, it's kind of a necessity thing. It's um, it's it's complicated, you know. It's but I, I guess I, I can say uh, I'd ask you not to not to make free software purity tests, right? You know I um, need Windows right now, and so that has to be fine because I want to be able to give back. looking at it I had the wrong part of the buffer open I think here and <laughs> well well twelve eighty two let me briefly say um uh, we're using okay so I can I can talk about CRDT we experimented with it um and I quite a bit and then Eric and I significantly further, we uh, messed up some of our slides significantly getting a little too ambitious with having multiple people editing it and letting everybody go to work on the presentations. So we wasted, a, we found many different ways to use Emacs to waste time and preparing for Emacs Conf, but uh, I'm pretty confident we have, we have all the good parts saved and we'll just need to pull uh, those together. Uh, for you back into a single org mode file that we can put up with those videos. Uh, thanks again for bearing with us. Um, hopefully my point about Emacs being there for you came across. Oh yes, yeah. I can scroll, I can scroll yeah, back down to your text yeah. if you like. Okay, nice. here we go. Ta da! <laughs> uh, we're figuring out. Corwin, here's your text. If you want to read it, otherwise, uh, I'd be plenty happy to read it if you want me to uh, take it. All right. Obviously, you had to ask the ESL learner, so English as a second language, to read a chunk of text. So thank you for this. <laughs> All right, okay. So uh, this is by Corwin. So Emacs <laughs> is very, very complicated. And using computer is hard. With Emacs, we have an ideal opportunity to learn from our errors, to take on hard work with diverse groups, and to affect lasting solutions. 
to make Emacs, and thereby any word of software thing, in practically any human and spoken language easier to learn and to use forever. Life doesn't come with warning labels or margin notes. We have a blank map and an uncertain number of batteries for the torch. But there's light in the darkness. It's freedom. It's the idea of giving to people something that cannot be taken away. All you meant to say that that was very beautiful. Uh, thank you, Corbin, for writing that. Okay, so uh, are there any questions? <laughs> Owen, you're muted. I still can't hear. I'm you. muted. I think. I'm sorry. No, you I, 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 um, What I said was thank you. Uh, just thanks. <laughs> I you, just this community has really been there for me. It's just hard to learn and neat. So sorry, I keep laughing because I see I see things coming through the chat and I do not know how to react visually. I'm not used to getting those types of messages, so it is very upsetting or putting I don't know which word to use. I'm losing my English as well. I'm intentionally not looking over there because I'll just get dragged into conversation and then this we will be on live stream all night. I don't know if you know me at all. In fact, I, I my apologies, you probably don't. Hi, my name is Corwin. I like to talk. I like to get you excited about ideas that I think we agree about so we can get somewhere solving an, impo an important problem. And there's a lot of important problems in the world. So I have been living in a devil's paradise throughout COVID as people are sitting at home and really frustrated, especially in the United States where I live, about uh, political and social justice issues. You probably heard of the town where I live recently as a direct um uh kind of crucible there right um we are a troubled people we're arguing about freedom it's to the point where it's hard to put those words down without assuming people are going to write you off as a shyster that's insanity we know exactly what that means especially in this community we uh we're here because we want to um because we want to make sure that some part of what the potential that technology offers is indelibly written out there that nobody can take away that's the bottom line on that 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 closing thought i mean that's where i'd leave you at with the max conference we want to make stuff that other people can't take away because that's where freedom is hiding thank you and i agree there's something to be said about um you know, this idea of having some piece of software or an art form to um, setting it free to to live on indefinitely into the future and for everyone else um, and for people who may not already even been born to, you know, at some point, someday discover it and, um, you know, start using it and making it even better. Um, yeah, so I think on that note, this might be a good note to conclude on. What do you folks think? I always like to go around the room one time, but again, I'll keep everybody on the phone forever. So don't, don't, don't use my, <laughs> definitely I have to be seconded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Leo, Sasha. Uh, I was just wondering if we'd answered uh, as many questions as we could from the people, because I believe we've answered some of them and Sasha has been kind enough to answer them in line, but maybe we wanted to take some of them live, especially some of the later ones, just to send people off with a feeling that we answered to the very last question that they had. In, until the sound over my head gets too loud and I have to mute, I'll be here and then I'll uh, be here if I can convince the loud ones to come watch with me. Right. So it's, it's really up to you. I mean, we're, I'm the one crumbling right now. You know, I'm just, uh, it's pure showmanship that is keeping me up right now, the energy that I've been accumulating over the last few days. But what's going to happen basically when we finish this live stream? Firstly, I'm going to turn off this light, which has been blasting a uh, very white light in my eyes and up until 11 p.m. every single day. You see this very comfy, uh, you know, sofa, whatnot. I'm just going to crash on it right away. So. <laughs> 
uh, that sounds like a good plan to me. Um, you know, we've all worked hard, especially you all, um, and definitely deserve some rest to, um, you know, rejuvenate, charge up, and get back into it again. Um, yeah, Sasha, did you want to add anything else? You just muted yourself. Yes, you just muted yourself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just answering questions at the moment. Um, at some point, I will have to do kid things, but in the meantime, I can do Emacs, grown up Emacs things. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're well, you saying grown up Emacs, but we still had a, a talk by uh, someone today who was uh, 17, I believe. So, yeah, I was very impressed by this. Really. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome just seeing the wide diversity and the wide age range of people um, just getting into Emacs, speaking up for all sorts of different things. Um, Corbin and I had a bit of a chat about this, about this um, piece of free software that is Emacs and all the freedoms, freedoms that it grants us. Um, but yeah, we could go on forever and ever. Um, yeah, I really can. And, that, and you know, and that, it has yeah. to be about something done and that's where i think sasha your work in organization is so uh vital to us we uh you know we have to direct that energy into self-organizing and and that's where i'd like probably to focus my work over the probably the next several years is um is is putting that thought and some of the uh some of the ideas that are built into org mode and in fact some of the implementation that's built into org mode and in fact probably org mode because hey there it is to work on that yeah you should see all the org scripts i wrote this is so cool not that other people but anyway we wrote this like fancy scheduling thing and you should check out the submissions.org to to try to use it because then if other people use it they can improve it and then i get to use the improvements next year also, ERC, Emacs <laughs> IRC clients, awesome. So a lot of <laughs> automation was a lot of fun to work on. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Sasha did a lot of cool automation stuff this year, um, you know, around generating the schedules and everything, the pages in the Emacs wiki with org mode, um, and, you know, for the calls with uh, speakers and coordinating in emacsconf-org, um, or like, you know, updating the topics, all this stuff. She basically automated all of this, um, which is definitely very impressive. And I know I'm going to be looking into, um, yeah, definitely check out um, ERC. I'm a little biased. Um, I started sort of maintaining it a little bit ago, but um, it's been there forever. And, you know, I'm just following the footsteps of uh, giants or standing on their shoulders. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, yeah, any uh, last notes to add before we get back to um, playing the last few demos that we have? Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm really sad for the people uh, viewing uh, the viewers right now who won't get the thrill of receiving a message by Sasha at 3 a.m. telling, oh, I found a way to automate all the talks. I found a way to have the schedule be generated automatically in an org mode file. And, you know, I'm, I'm having my tea in the morning. I'm waking up. I see an email, which was sent at 3 a.m. And I say, like, wow, impressive. That works like quite nicely for you, um, Leo, with like, you know, the times and time zones and everything. And with Sasha usually getting it on later at night. Um, yeah, you do get this. It's all bedtime, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait until bedtime, and then I'm up until like one or two because it's too much fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so uh, on that note, if uh, there isn't much else to say, then I will uh, thank each and everyone once again um, who was in any way part of this um, and helped with. Um, any of this, um, basically, um, Emacs Conf in any way, um, and watched it, helped, whatever, um, submitted the talk. Um, I very much thank you. Um, this wouldn't have been what it has been without um, all of you folks' participation and help and um, just being out there and spreading the gospel of Emacs. Um, yeah, so, yep, there we go. <laughs> Leo. Sorry, 
Someone just asked me if I was still wearing jeans today, so I just felt obligated to show it. So. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I, have question I, have on... I have to put my thanks in. I, I have to thank uh, Leo, and, uh, and and I'll just stare at you, but I, I won't say your name yet again um, for the insane work that you do. And, and, and Sasha, um, you are an asset to our whole community with the vibrance that you bring and the, the passion that you have for um, for community itself. Uh, I think a lot of us can say that you're, in, you're you're driving a lot of our work in in certain ways. Um, I, and then I, I want to thank all the presenters for uh, for working with us to get every everything scheduled, and also my team and project um for helping uh get the project actually play testable to the point where we had some interesting stuff to show and my family for uh all that they do to make it possible for me to give back to free software oh there's a question um someone's volunteering to help just get the stream recordings out so it's it's up to you uh yeah your call if you want them out and then you have some time to prepare nice cut up versions or do you want everyone to hang on and then just link to like the Emacs Conf website? Your right. Call. Right. Um I would very much appreciate help with that. In fact, um for last year's um live recordings we had someone to help us. Um uh, Andrew Doherty in fact, who also helped light a bunch of transcripts last year, did an awesome <laughs> job. Um yeah, I really wanted to have him around this year, but you know, circumstances with um, everything going on around uh, around the world um, just didn't work out. But um, yeah, I could definitely use um, help with uh, cutting up the videos. Um, you know, for the pre-recordings, that's pretty trivial. It's just me having to upload them and create the pages. So I will do that. But um, to whoever asked the question, if it's on the pad um, or if it's in IRC, sorry, I missed it. I will go. I'll look back later. Um, yeah, just ping me, message me, or email me um, at bandali at gnu.org, and um, I would appreciate your help. Yeah. So have we finished the roundtable? Uh, I believe we're doing the last thanking. So Corwin did it, Sasha did it. Should, should I go next? So, well, as you can see, I've lowered myself ever, ever since the last time I've spoken. So <laughs> the tightness is tight, starting to set in. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, rejoin everyone and just say that thank you so much to all the organizers who have been helping us. Uh, we've done a stellar job, that I believe, at least this year, of keeping things on track. And I hope that all of you have been able to enjoy this. And yeah, I don't have any anyone in particular to thank, you know, uh, for me, free software was for a very long time, something I did in my bedroom on the side of my studies. And generally when I was procrastinating from writing that one particular essay or that one particular thesis, you know, I did my old mood stuff in the background. So just to be able to, you know, join the community where not only I got the chance to, you know, write some code for it and try to animate a community, but also to be part of an event that is so genuine in its mission so genuine in the way that we got speakers together we had you know we had this excitement that we wanted to share and judging by the reactions we've had over the couple of days you know i i believe we've completely hit our target and as corwin said yesterday i am i guess i suppose a little humbled i know it might sound weird for me because i'm from the all the time but when we're going to press stop tonight you know for the broadcast I think it's going to start slowly dawning, slowly, sorry, French accent coming back, slowly dawning on me what we've done. And yeah, it'll take me a couple of weeks to recover mentally, uh, spiritually, physically and whatnot. But I believe after I'll be able to enjoy what we've been able to do. And for that, thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's sort of you know kind of in the moment and um kind of maybe you haven't quite grasped grasped at all yet but yeah i think it'll um start hitting us all uh, individually at different points over the next couple of days or weeks 
um, as we take some time to, you know, rest up and re-energize and, you know, keep going forward. Um, yeah, so on that note, if um, no one else has anything to add, I will um, bid you all farewell. And thank you everyone once again for joining us and making an awesome amazing emacs conf 2020 um just quickly say we weren't sure that we will be able to pull it off given the, all the madness going on around the world but for us to have broken um so many of our numbers and records well all of them basically um you know we just had just about like two and a half or three terabytes of streaming bandwidth usage so that's incredible and so many people joining in so many talks so it's amazing thank you um Yes, I see a question come in. Will the Etherpad be uh, archived somewhere on emacsconf.org? Um, and the answer is yes. I think Sasha is answering. Um, yes, it will be linked under emacsconf.org slash 2020. Um, that page will contain all the resources about everything, um, you know, uh, about emacsconf 2020. 2020 sorry. Um, yeah, now you see that some people saying early happy birthday to me. Um, thank you so very much. Um, I think this uh, this conference was an incredible, um, I guess, prelude to, to my birthday. Um, so thank you all. And on that note, I will end the stream and uh, say goodbye and bid you farewell. Bye. Bye, everyone. And then you're going to play the demos. Yep. Exactly. Awesome. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>